Welcome to the Lovestead. Hello, welcome back to Two Lady Lovestead Reads. My name is Jessica. This is a vlog. It is a Monday in October. I'm a little under the weather today, but trying to make the most of it still. I'm on my way to the barn and we are in peak fall colors here um, in Iowa, which is it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. Um, after the barn, I'm going to pick up a grocery order. The book that I am currently reading this afternoon on audiobook is What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. And it is a final girl story. It is Tuesday. I'm feeling really exhausted. It's a really heavy work week, but I'm going to try to give you as much content as I can. It's a really, really windy day. It warmed up quite a bit. It's like we're back in almost 80 degree weather. October 24th. I don't love it. <laughs> Our planet is dying. I had some barn time yesterday after barn time. I picked up some groceries and then I just, I worked. It's a heavy work week. That's all I'll really say about it. I'm having some home maintenance this month. Like I got a screen door or a storm door replaced that had been needed to be replaced for like a year. And then tomorrow I'm getting my fireplace maintenance. And that's also like keeping me busy. I need to get the bucket garden put away this week as well because of weather forecasts and things like that just a lot going on so I really haven't had time to get a lot of reading done I am about halfway through What Lies in the Woods by Kate Ellis Marshall and I am loving it I really really like this book it's giving me some in the woods vibes by Tana French if you've read that also giving me some final girls vibes if you've read Riley Sager's final girls it's just very good I'm it's you know, I don't know that it's any better than any other thrillers that I've read this year, other than it's hitting the mark for me. I really love missing person stories. I love final girl stories. I love broken people and self-destructive people, which the survivors in this are fairly self-destructive. It's just, yeah, it's doing for me what I need a thriller to do. Would other people like it? I don't really know. Probably. I mean, yeah, I think. <laughs> it's a great review, huh? Uh, and then I'm reading a lot of other books right now, but the one that I have been <clears throat> most likely to pick up when I read physically is this lit fic that I'm reading. It's like Sad Girl Lit Fic or Women vs. the Void. It's called Night Shift by Kiara, Kiara, maybe, Kiara Ladner. And it is about a friend obsession. So like these two women work together and one of them is Belgium and speaks French and she's kind of eccentric and artsy and cool. And the other character is obsessed with her and like that's what the story is. I love stories about obsession. Like she's trying to just like 
emulate her in certain parts of her life and just wants to learn everything about her, wants to be her friend, is just obsessed with her. And I'm not very far into it. I'm only like 30 some pages. I love the writing style. I love the characters. I love the, the theme of obsession. And I'm here for it. I'm really liking it so far. It's scratching an itch I had to read some kind of dark lit fic, basically. I'm really needing, like I'm really craving right now, self-destructive women. <laughs> So, um, Night Shift and What Lies in the Woods are doing that for me, and I'm having a good time. So, yeah, today's Tuesday. I'm on a quick lunch break here, and then uh, after work, I'm going to go to the barn and do my barn chores, maybe spend some time with Dolly, and and then I have to come home and continue working and I've got to clean up like my kitchen and my fireplace area for my fireplace maintenance visit tomorrow. Hi, it is Wednesday. I am on my dinner break here. It's my long day at work. I've got a lovely Panera Fuji apple salad. Panera is like my go-to if I need to like stop somewhere and get food because their stuff's always so fresh. This is not sponsored by the way. Tell me your Panera order down below. I usually will either get um, a Fuji apple salad with a baguette as a side or I'll do the um, cheddar broccoli soup in a bread bowl with fruit as a side. But tell me what you like to get. Tell me your combos. Give me something new to try. I'll inevitably go back to this because it's an old favorite, but I'll try something new. Give me your recommendations. Look at this giant cup of apple. <laughs> Yesterday I finished What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. I gave it four stars and I really, really liked it. I'm actually gonna reread this with my eyes. I'm ordering myself a copy. I think that I missed some things listening to it on audiobook, which can happen when I listen to audiobooks. Usually when I'm listening to an audiobook, I'm doing other things, multitasking, doing chores at the barn, cleaning my house, etc. So it's easy for me to get distracted and kind of lose the train of the book. And I do think that happened at certain points in this book, so I'm going to reread it with my eyes. My rating might change when I do that, but it would only go up to a five star if it changed. I it won't ever go down to like a three star, that's for sure, because I really liked this. I love a Final Girl story because I really like um, <clears throat> seeing how characters tell the story of their trauma. Being someone who has had some trauma, it's always interesting to me because in a Final Girl story, the cases are usually pretty famous. So the women are often recognized and people will be like, oh, you experienced that traumatic thing. And then they're kind of forced to talk about it. So I like seeing how different characters talk about it. And some characters do it in similar ways. Some do it in different ways. Sorry, my tripod is wiggling. Orlando likes to scratch his back on my tripod. So hopefully you're not getting seasick. But yeah, I really like that about a final girl story. And this one definitely had elements of that. Because the main protagonist is easily recognizable. She's got a big scar on her face from when she was attacked. And so people see that and they're automatically like, oh yeah, you were almost murdered. <laughs> I thought the twists in this were pretty good. There was one twist that I saw a mile away early on. Like, super easy to pick out that one twist. But, the final reveal never would have seen coming. Never would have seen that coming. I was shocked. I was shocked and shooketh um, by the final reveal. Oh yeah, this was a really, really good book. I recommend it if you like thrillers, if you like self-destructive characters, if you like trauma <laughs> stories, not trauma itself, but stories about trauma. Yeah, I think that covers it. Definitely give this a read. It was well worth it. It's my first book by this author. I'll definitely check out some of her backlist stuff because um, I really, really liked it. And look, the writing was also really good. 
there are some heartbreaking lines in there that I really wanted to like highlight and annotate, which of course you can't do in an audiobook. So I'm really excited to get a physical copy of this and give it a reread in December. December is going to be my month of rereads because I'm going to hit my 100 books read count, if not by the end of this month, in November for sure. So I will have met my Goodreads goal. And then in December, I'm just going to reread all the books I want to reread. Because there were several from this year that I listen on audiobook that I'm like, I have to get a physical copy of this and reread it. And some that I've really wanted to just pick up and reread before December, but I'm holding it off until December. Until I finish my Goodreads goal. Um, and then I'll be rereading. Boy, I'm going to be rereading some really good stuff and I'm looking forward to it. The next audiobook I picked up is Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. And I'm glad I got this on audio because everybody who's read it has said you have to listen to the audiobook because he actually narrates it himself and he's got that lovely southern accent. So that's the next audiobook I'll pick up. I probably won't start it until either tomorrow or Friday when I'm back at the barn doing chores. But that's your update for Wednesday. <laughs> Fireplace is cleaned and good for another five years. Hello, happy Thursday. Again, dog is rubbing on my tripod. I'm really exhausted today and I've been having a lot of pain this week. Related to stress and the weather, the barometric pressure has just been all over the place. This week we've had warmer weather, rain, cooler weather, warmer, like it's just been all over. So my pain levels have been really high and my, my body is just screaming at me for some care. <laughs> Uh, so I have an appointment for a massage this afternoon and after that... I'm just going to spend the evening resting. I spent the evening yesterday just resting and reading. And I read a lot more of Night Shift by Kiara. Oh, let me look. I don't, the book is just right over there on a couch, but I don't want to move that far to grab it. So I'm looking on my Goodreads. Kiara Ladner. I am obsessed with this book. Oh my gosh. Something about it is really kind of scratching a niche, I guess could be a way to put it. It's really fitting my mood. Really, really fitting my mood. It's about Meg. I don't remember how much I've talked about it, but Meg. And Meg works in media monitoring is what her job is. Her job sounds so easy to do. I'm like, I wonder if that's a job that exists in today's world because it's set in like the late 90s, early 2000s. She works with this woman named Sabine and Sabine is like really intriguing to Meg and she's like kind of an eccentric person, right? So she dresses in a unique and like stylish way and she cooks really elegant meals and she, you know, she's like manic pixie dream girl. Manic Pixie Dream Girl. Yeah, yeah, that's what she is, pretty much. And Meg is just obsessed with her. And she kind of is going through this process, like, do I have feelings for her? Like, do I want to be her girlfriend? Am I possibly bi or a lesbian? So she's, like, exploring her sexuality. And, like, what it comes down to, really, is Meg wants to be Sabine. And she's just obsessed with her. She's trying to learn everything she can about her. So that she can like basically become her. And it's so interesting. And I think that one of the things that this could really connect to is fan culture. Like a lot of times with fan culture, you get people that are obsessed with these celebrities. Like Taylor Swift, for example. I think there's a lot of fans that just are obsessed with Taylor and they want to like be Taylor, you know? Um, and I think that like what's happening in this story could connect really well to some of that fan culture. I think of the book I read a while ago called Idol Burning that talks about like that obsessive level of fan culture. 
and just obsession. Like obsession is so interesting. I am obsessed with obsession. <laughs> But it's just, it's making me think of all of these things. I mean, just sitting here talking to you about it, like how many different threads of ideas that I've had from reading this book. And it's a fairly short book. It's under 300 pages. Um, I'm halfway through, but I'm absolutely just loving it. Like it's quickly on its way to be a five-star book, new favorite of all time. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to share with you. It's just been a quiet week. It has been a quiet, quiet week. Uh, I have needed some quiet this week and I've just been working and trying to just rest because my brain is exhausted, my body is exhausted and I just need the rest. So yeah, I'm going to get a massage here today and then, um, you know, that's like right as my shift at work ends. I'm on lunch right now. But right as soon as my shift here at work ends, I'm going to go get a massage. And then there's a chance I might finish night shift tonight. We'll just have to see. Let's wrap up the vlog. It's actually Wednesday of the next week. It's taking me a while to wrap up the vlogs that I do. Okay, audiobook. I finished What Lies in the Woods and talked about that. The next thing I picked up on audiobook was Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. And I went into it fully ready to hate it. I wanted to be an outlier. I wanted to be one of those people that was like, I know everybody loved it, but actually I didn't. And it didn't happen. <laughs> um, he like wooed me over the course of the book and I ended up really, really, really liking this book and I gave it five stars. There's actually a part in there that connected back to one of my favorite nonfiction of the year, Nomadland, because at one point in Matthew McConaughey's life, he lives the nomad land lifestyle and he even talks about some of the same locations that are written about in nomad land and that was like a fun overlap in my reading experience this year yeah i loved it i gave it five stars and i agree with everybody that says you should listen to the audiobook because he reads it and he's quirky and there's no one like matthew mcconaughey i feel like he just like he's just himself but he's not arrogant and he's also not ashamed. He's like just the right level of confident and hum humility, confident and humble. That's what I want to look for. Yeah, just the right combination of confident and humble. So I really liked it. I recommend it. And then I did end up finishing Night Shift by Kiara Ladner. And I loved this. I think I talked about this a little bit already. But it's about obsession, and Maggie is obsessed with her coworker Sabine. She's French Belgium, and they work together in media monitoring, which sounds like an interesting job in itself. I doubt they exist anymore because of AI. But I thought this did a really good job of exploring obsession in an honest way, and I ate this book up. I loved every word on the page and I really hope that she writes more. She will be an auto buy author for me. I've like set up all my alerts to let me know um, when Ladner produces another book because it was so good. And then I also went and I looked up a bunch of books like similar to this. Like if you liked this book, what other books would you like? And I found like five other books <laughs> and bought them <laughs> because I was like, if I like this one so much, some of these other books with similar themes and stuff, I will probably also really love. So um, in an upcoming little book haul, once they all arrive, I'll share with you um, the, like, I think it was five different books that I bought similar in themes to this one. So stay tuned for that. 
I did give this five stars. I don't know if it's going to be something that everyone will love though. I It hit just right for me, but I don't know that it will hit just right for everyone. Let me see if I can find some quotes to give you just a sense of what the style is like. Okay, here's a, a quote, page 34. She is rationalizing switching to night shift to spend more time with Sabine and she's trying to rationalize it to her boyfriend, Graham. So it says, if the rationale sounded disingenuous, Graham wouldn't question it. He thought my academic efforts were linked to my late father's career. The misconception wasn't my fault, though nor was it easy to correct. I told him that I didn't miss what I hadn't known, but over the years I'd noticed that people who came from ordinary stable families didn't believe me. Oh, there's a good one, page 85. Often I'm kept awake by guilt. Yet when I do truly go back into the past, my perspective shifts. As I write the story down, I can see that what I tried to do, what I thought I should, oh wait, that when I tried to do what I thought I should, my attempts were doomed. How do you treat others decently when you want to become someone else? How do you live well when you yearn to burn with all of your spirit in moments of wildness or freedom or excess? It's just a little taste of the writing style. Loved it. Gave it five stars. If you like these themes, if you like lit fic, if you like sad girl stories, if you like sort of purple prosy style of writing, you might like this as well. That'll do it for this week's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. We read three books. We read What Lies in the Woods, gave it four stars. Green Lights, gave it five stars. And Night Shift, and gave it five stars. So a really excellent week of reading. Have you read these? Let me know down below what your thoughts on them are. If you just want to leave me an emoji to let me know that you're here, go ahead and leave me a moon or stars emoji for night. <laughs> and until next time, make sure that you continue to read good books, drink a coffee, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.